Hi there and welcome back. So we are back with uh, another Tim Holtz uh, project. So this is the start of getting prepared to do a ring bound journal. But the pieces I'm making um, don't have to be for a ring bound journal. And that's why I'm going to do the pieces first. And I'm just doing them as standalone pieces. Then I will change the pieces to make them me able to add them to a ring bound journal so if you watched tuesday which was trash tuesday i made these wallets so these could be sewn into a signature they could be a standalone piece you could make them into a journal what i'm going to do to be able to get them in a ring bound journal is um add something onto here which will have the holes in and then they will go in the ring bound journal but they can be used as standalone pieces then on Wednesday I did uh, these giant tags which has a hidden pocket inside and I used a 6x6 six six, uh, paper for the journal card I put a pocket on the front Oh my goodness me get in and a belly band on the back so again it's a standalone piece if you didn't have the belly band in you could stick that down you could make it um you know <laughs> side uh, pocket oh dear um yeah a behind uh pocket or um if you didn't seal this up, you could have sewn this bit into your signature and then glued around it. So this could have been in your signature. Again, this is going to have uh, like a hinge on, which will then um, go into the ring bound journal. Um, I've also done a couple more videos, what you'll see uh, coming up. I've got some giant um, journal cards that's on a Trash Tuesday and um, some... Um, pockets which again are going to all go in my ring band journal but I thought I'd do it this way because I know ring band journals aren't for everybody um, and I thought if I do the pieces first you'll be able to see that you know you can use them on other things so the height of my highest um, thing I think is eight and a quarter yet yeah, so it's eight and a quarter so as long as I do this height um, for this at uh, eight, eight and a quarter, it's fine. Again, I'm going to be making two pieces. I'm only making, well, I'm thinking that I'm making one ring band journal. But depending out on how many pieces I make, if there's too many, it might turn into two. But we shall see. The plan is only actually one. I just need to get the dog out of uh, Eleanor's room. Okay, I'm back. It's, it's been a bit of a, a swine for Kit going in Eleanor's room. It's because she has bits of food laying about, you know, crust off sandwiches and biscuits and dropped crisps on the floor. You know, she's a teenager. So these are going to be uh, some pockets. I'm just thinking... I'd like it that way. I'm thinking I'm going to turn them that way. Okay, so let's start by cutting them down to um, eight, eight and a quarter kind of height. So I obviously need to, I want them that way. So height is going to be that way. Let's um, get them together. So there's eight. I don't think you know I'm gonna do it separate um so there's eight which would be there what would that be too tall that's a shame so that's eight that's eight and a quarter eight don't want to go under Let's have a look what it would be going this way. I don't know how much of it you're going to see anyway at this point, but... So, 
say that would be eight. Eight and a quarter. I think that would be better. Right, I'm going to cut it off at eight and a quarter. Have I done that right? Honestly, me and measuring and turning papers around and no, I don't. Yeah, yeah, but I'm gonna have to go that way. Yeah, I do get um, very, very confused, very, very easy. So that's gonna be the length. Yeah, okay. Uh, Colin, out. It's just opened her door again. Right, so let's do this at eight and a quarter. Obviously, this one doesn't doesn't matter. It's um, non-directional. The papers I'm using are from the Tim Holtz uh, dapper pad. Um, still can't get hold of memorandum, and I don't think I'm going to be able to. So. I'm not that keen on the French industrial uh, pad, but as I keep looking at it, because the dapper pad is quite dark and some of it's in your face, I actually think it'll mix nice with the French industrial. So I think I'm going to um, order another dapper pad and French industrial just so I've got um, a pad because it is looking like... I mean, it might be down to, you know, the amount of sicknesses and um, deliveries and things like that. But in the UK, it is looking like we're not going to be able to get older the 12 by 12s. Uh, but, you know, suddenly they might, have, they might have some. So this is the way that I'm going. And width ways, these are like, that's just under six think this is about five and a half yeah this is five and three quarters so I've marked this at five and a half because as long as you know it's not any wider um I can go at, at whatever so I thought I'd do it at five and a half and I'm gonna do it that way and just score down there. This dapper paper isn't as thick as uh, some of the other Tim Holtz paper, which is actually a good thing. And I'm going to fold that up like so. Okay, so we'll just leave that for a minute, and we'll do the same with this. I can hear you, mister. I know what your intentions are. You can stay out of there. Okay, so we've got them both scored at uh, five and a half. This is going to be the front part. And the reason I'm doing this as the front part is because I realise that these tags I've got a belly band at the back also so I'm going to do the belly band at the front of those so it just I don't know just makes it different so this I'm going to okay I had to go and think about that so you want it on the side that you don't want to see the most of and you want to score it at five eight and a half and ten and a half if you was doing it with no I think I'm going to do it at 11. Oh, I don't know. That's, um, so you then fold it like that. So that's your five. That's your eight and a half. So, yeah, 
probably, I'm going to do it at 11. No. Oh, gosh. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Did I, is that what I originally said? Right, let's have a look at that. I've, I, you might be shocked to know, but I've not made this before. gonna say and what it looks like in my head to what it uh, looks like is is two two different things sometimes so we've got a scores five eight and a half ten and a half yeah then we would fold it over you know we would fold it that way and we'll turn it and go like that and then bring it up no because i don't want it like that so we would go like that bring it up that's it Oof. so yeah just mess about with it until you've got it um the right side for you so that's um how it is so we've got a pocket here little tiny tuck here and then a decent yeah quite quite a deep uh, pocket in there so I've got to think it's going to go on that side so that's going to be what you see first and then that's going to be that side so it's going to be this bit that's extended and my holes in for my uh, ring bound journal Just wondering how difficult that will be to get something something out so if I say that I'd have you know about an inch where the rings are and say say this is my card like so could easily get it out but if I did it that way did it that way it would still be the same okay yeah so that's fine um yeah i'm gonna say you can have a nice big card in there and if you couldn't get it out obviously with it being in a ring band you just take it take it out and um you know you do your pockets however uh to go to go in a journal so yeah that's going to be so I've got to think that this is actually the front and that is the back which I just think that confuses me let me just have a minute Oh, I could have it. That way. It'd still be the same. You've still got that deep pocket, that side, whatever. But you would have that at the back. Which I think that might be better. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it that way. Let's do another one. So, <laughs> so, so I'm not so confused. Now, this side, I'm quite fine with. I'm not bothered, you know, which way it ends up uh, facing. So, I've already made a mark here. That will be at five and a half, won't it? But, um, yeah, we'll ignore that one. So, I'm going to do it at five. Let's do it from up here. Five... Um, eight and a half. And ten and a half. Now I'm going to do it at eleven. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over and do it again. So five. Eight and a half. 
round 11. Yep. So let's fold it at five, like so. And then we turn it over. We fold the eight and a half and the 11. Yeah, I prefer that. Then that would be the bit that is extended. I don't know. Yes, it does need to be that way. So, yeah, I'm going to change the, the last one on here to 11 because I prefer that. This has got so many creases in, but I'm sure once it's all stuck together and <clears throat> what have you, it will be fine. Yeah, that's super. So, that's those. Yeah, I like that. Okay, right, I don't need the scoreboard anymore. So I hope I've not confused you too much. So we've got a 12 inch paper. Um, you cut it down to whatever height you want it and then score it at five, eight and a half and 11. And you could either, if you've got, um, I can, I've only got my journal thing to hand, you know, if you, it would go on a full page if you was putting it on an actual page. Or you could have it that way. Or you could put um, a hinge on it and have it hinged out. Um, so you could cut it down. Do, do whatever. I'm going to say you'll be able to modify it to to whatever you're uh, doing. So I think we'll get this stuck stuck down and then um, I'll be able to remember what I'm doing. So let's have a look. So this one, apart from glue's gunk top, it's, it's a bit hard to see um, where the crease is. So that's that crease, then this crease, and then this one. So that'll be nice for like just little tickets or little die cuts or whatever. Okay, and it's going to go in my book that way. So let's do this one. I've got that many score lines on this one, I can't see. See which is which. quite straight or if it's the, the paper I can't can't work it out so I think I'm going to ink around uh, the perimeter so I'm going to get the walnut stain out should have really done it before I'd glued it down but I was um, that confused with um, how it how it would go but um, yeah I didn't but yeah um, that's exactly uh, how I wanted it to be. So we got there in the end. Isn't that paper beautiful together? Really love it. Stunning. Right, let's do that. 
let's do that do the back so I'm gonna put a belly band uh, down the back and I've made something very similar um, before and I made them into page tabs but this time I'm just gonna make them into uh, belly bands so it's gonna open that way it's gonna open that way okay Right, so I should be able to use these for uh, the belly buttons. I don't want them that thick. So with this one, I'm thinking if I cut down here, I'll get to save those two. Um, I'm wanting to call them ladders. <laughs> um, oh my goodness tape measures uh, for embellishing or making a different uh, band I think I'm going to take that that side bit off I think that's just a little bit too much okay let's get the, the height so if I do it at 15, yeah, that's too late. So I've got some tape measure to play with. Um, let's do this if I cut it off height wise. I could do that with my trimmer, couldn't I? I could measure. <laughs> What would the fun be in that? Let's let's live dangerous. Right. Okay. And I'm sure I've got I've got a pen, haven't I? Which way am I gonna have it? That way. So let's mark it this side. Don't obviously have to be exact same. Same width. Okay, okay. So that's that. They can go with. Oh, I don't want that going with scraps. That's, that's my pocket. Right, let's um, ink these. I'm going to round the corners. Ooh. No, I'm not. So I don't want to cut the cut the rollers off. I think this is one of my favourite um, pages, the one with the rollers on. If you can see all right. So yeah, we'll do a few days of um, making some pieces like this and then we'll see see where we're, where we're at. Um, but I've got you know a few ideas for for big pieces i think it will be fun i say i really enjoyed making those tags i think i've already inked those right so let's just put those out of the way for a minute um i've got out some scraps let me oh just gonna pause Okay, I feel a bit more um, squared on. I think I was just sitting um, <clears throat> not straight and I felt as if I was miles off. So I'm going to add uh, a photo. Oh, I like that colour wise. I'm going to go for, for those two. And I'm just going to put some like different strips on um let's see let's see what we've got in here that's total wrong colour in ripped a load of bits up from um the my porch prints I think it's like a stamped um so there's loads of, 
uh, stuff. I'm going to do it, <coughs> a collage at some point. I want to stamp. So let's pull, pull a few things out and I can see what we're doing. Some rollers there. Little stitched piece there. Oh, I've got some of those front pieces. Some tickets. Tickets. Love tickets. <laughs> and they're probably one colour. Right, I think that's, no, I think that's it. And then we'll want some different strips. So I've cut some off, um, some of these. To look for the right colours, tones. Yeah, that'd be nice. Not got a lot of uh, Tim Holtz scraps left <laughs> at the minute. That would be nice. Right, that will probably, <coughs> probably do. So I'm going to make kind of a cluster, but um, more in the, um, more squared, squared off. So in squares and, and rectangles. Right, pop those over there. So I'll cut a few strips. Those I've got this which I'll keep like so that can be a strip I'll cut that off and that off put that into two like so let's take that edge off Leave those pretty long. And I'll cut one that way. Box it off. Right, let's take a little bit of this. I think I'll do do those long. This is little bits, that's wrong colour, and that's wrong colour, that's wrong colour. Okay, do we want any of these? No. Right, so let's start and build um, one for this one. So that would be nice down the middle. Like so. Maybe something like that. 
then with that on all linked and then maybe um didn't really get many tickets so i've got a ticket here maybe a ticket i don't think a tag so yeah let's start Let's start inking up and getting down. I've got my little Tim Holtz um, embellishment pieces. Oh, I've got those stamps there. They might be good. But yeah, I could have done pulling some more little uh, tickets out. Right, I think I'm going to use the Anita's Tacky Glue. So I'm not thinking, you know, too much about it. It's just layering it on just to give it, you know, a bit of depth, a bit of interest. It, um, it doesn't have to be um, a masterpiece. I'm going to slide that underneath there if, it's, if I still can. <laughs> Let's, um, I think this must be ready for filling, filling up again. I feel like this trapped air in it, you know, as if it needs just opening and letting breathe and then fastening it uh, back up. So that's fine in there. Mm. I'll say obviously I've not got that many different patterns to, to play with. Let's um, ink this photo up. Can put her there. Yeah, I like that there. Let's <coughs> pop that on. I'm wondering if the nozzle actually wants taking out and <coughs> washing, washing out perhaps. Let me just open it just to see if there's any. See where the glue is. Probably about a quarter left in it. But yeah, it just felt as if there was air um, trapped in. No, that's fine. That's probably half full actually. Right. Anyway, <laughs> back to it. So yeah i think i'm gonna put the lady there and then where's that little ticket going it's gonna have let's cut out uh, one of these stamps out Take one of these tickets 
so maybe I want it down down there more is it too similar okay. oh that's better I don't think I ain't the ticket. So if we've got that like so, or do we want it? No, I think I like it about there because it looks as if it's layered up with, with that piece. I quite like that. I'm going to stick the, the photo down. It's just probably gone thick. Some of the things that I've already made, I've not um, decorated. So I'm thinking we'll just do, you know, make all the ephemera and whatever's not decorated um, at the end, we'll get everything decorated before um, I start the actual ring band. Because um, if I've got all the pieces made and all the um, strips that I'm attaching uh, to put the holes in for the ring binder, um, that should only take like a video. I don't know where I want this now. A bit casual, like like that. Sometimes you're best just to drop, you know, drop them on. Um, see about one of these flags. These are from uh, Forty Nine Market. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm not a big uh, lover of the the flaggy. Uh, shape, but um, yeah, I like that. Yes. So that's this one uh, done. <coughs> I can hear my daughter on the front. I would say it's just home time from from school. I do like that. Let's um let's do this one. It's a young lady. I think I'll probably go for the brown one on this to give it a bit of yeah, a bit of difference. That can go back in there. So I might use the um stitched um ruler. Um I don't know if this is a sticker. Or if it's off the edge of a paper pad. So, um, well, I don't have a lot. Sorry if you can air, air in barking. It's that time when everybody's coming home from school. Right. So. I'm going to put that piece on first and work, work around it. Maybe I don't want that one. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Okay. 
going to have to shout him in on that. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, let's get that popped in. Colin! Yep. I can't remember where it was exactly, but that will be fine. So, yeah, I like that there. Let's see if it is a sticker or not. I've got a feeling it was the edge of some paper. Let's stick this down. So we'll have to revisit these anyway to make um, tags and that for them. Which I've got a couple of ideas. Well, it's revisiting um, things I really did in, in the Roxy Challenge. There's a few um, tags that I'd like to, and journal cards I'd like to redo. So that was some fabric ones that I did and some uh, with vellum. But um, you know, doing I did do the Tim Holtz, uh, the Vellum ones, like in the Tim Holtz uh, style. But um, yeah, I'd like to redo those and scrunch this up and do some fabric ones in Tim Holtz. And um, I'll have to think of. Yeah, I do like them flags. Crazy. <laughs> I might, um, with some of the, you know, small Timolt scraps, I might actually um, cut some, you know, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? Those kinds of uh, scraps. But yeah, it just gives it a bit, bit of interest, I think, on this kind of um, collage -in. Yeah, I like that. I'll we'll pop her on. We'll do that on it. A bit of an angle. And say so sometimes I like them really straight, and then other times I just like a little bit of a, an angle. She's very pretty. Right. Let's cut one of these. Might use that actually, just because. Yeah, I like that. Just because. <laughs> no other reason, but just because. So that's those. Oh, okay, to stick those on, and that's that. So yeah, we'll want um, a journal card for the back, and then we'll want a big journal card for for the big pocket on the other side. Um, the little pocket, I'll just pop, you know, little bits of. Um, tickets and stuff um, and then we've got that pocket haven't we so yeah need a few so let's think that's going like that is it yeah like that so that one's going to go on there it's going to give them a bit more of a of an ink round and the edges. It's given them a lot more um, stability as well. Again, if you're sticking these down, you obviously wouldn't put the belly band at the back, but you could, you know, make a, a separate belly band um, in this kind of boxy uh, style and put it somewhere else in, in your journal. But, um, yeah, like I say, just putting a hinge on and attaching it to your, to your journal page uh, would be quite interesting. So yeah, love that. 
got a ticket in there already and that's going to attach like that isn't it yeah so that one's going to go on there yeah this paper's absolutely fab in both sides i love it so i hope you've liked this i'm going to say sorry about the mess about it at the, at the beginning but um yeah i'd obviously not made a protocol or anything um and sometimes you have to play with the measurements don't you and see what what looks right i think when you think about it in your head sometimes it um it doesn't actually work i don't know if i should have done them opposite way yeah i like that I'm probably going to have to put some more glue on it now. But yeah, um, this one was fading way too um, in the background. That one wasn't so much on, on the roller, but um, yeah, this one was. So, oh, that's better. Yeah, let's um, bring this one down. Oh. <laughs> the bottom's stuck. I'll just bring the glue down a bit. That's it. Make sure it's straightish. What's underneath? Nothing. And that's that one. Love them. I'm just going to try. I'm just getting in there because that's really irritating me. <laughs> it's better. And I think I'm just going to go. Yeah, that one's fun. Right, so that's it. Um, I'll be back. Um, later today um, at the weekends I'm gonna well for the next couple of weeks I'm gonna do two week uh, two videos um, so I should be back later uh, with another one so we've got uh, these two pieces we've got our giant uh, tags which that one we've got our um folders i think i'm gonna end up making two aren't i really so get some glue under there that's the fabric um washi i did think it was gonna be strong enough and it and it has there was just that bit what was sticking sticking out what i meant to do um last time so yeah because and the big chunky pieces and then obviously i've got oh those which could actually be the journal card can't they for those Yeah, so there's the journal card uh, for those. Uh -huh. Got you upside down. <laughs> Sorry. And then I made these in a different one. Um, so these one decorating. So they've got tags. There's nothing in those. So yeah, we've got three big pieces. Oh, four. So that's what we've got uh, so far. Oh, I'm really excited. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, let me know if you're doing something. Let me know if you're doing it, but um, doing it in different papers. Um, not doing it in, in Tim Holtz. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you later on. Bye for now.